Hi, today we're going to learn how to change an owner of a purchase order. So this is applicable to both one-time purchases and SPOs, and only buyers have the ability to update owners. So we're going to get into the details. So you want to start by going to the orders tab in Coupa because we're going to find the particular purchase order we want to change the ownership of. So once we're in the Owners tab, um, I am actually going to search for the purchase order that I want to change, and I'm going to do that by actually selecting or looking for the requester contains this person's name, Jameson. So um, this particular person transferred away from this property. So you can see his, his user identification says termed. This is probably one of the most... Um, common reasons that you'll want to change ownership of a of a purchase order. So in this case I'm actually going to scroll down and um, there's a particular one in mind that I want to change today. Um, so I'm going to scroll down until I find it. It should be around here somewhere. Um, and so once I find the purchase order that I'm wanting to change, um, it's really important that um, I select the purchase order. Now I can't actually change the owner in the PO. So I'm only going to the purchase order so I can find the requisition that it relates to. I could always start in the requisition folder, um, but this is kind of the easiest way to go from one to the other. So in this particular case, I can see he's the requester in the ship to. And I'm actually going to open the requisition in a different screen. Um, and once I'm in the requisition, you'll see that buyers actually have the ability to change the requested buy, even though this requisition has already been approved. This is the only thing outside of adding comments to the bottom of the requisition that you can change once a requisition has been approved. So I'm going to hit the change. I'm actually going to delete this name and I am going to type in the new owner's name name here um, and then I'm going to select and I'm going to hit save and so you'll notice it's actually going to type this person's name in here um, and so I'm going to go back to the purchase order and I'm just going to refresh my screen and you're going to see the system has immediately taken the old person and added the new person. Now um, we are done with the, the change in ownership. There's one caveat so when you're doing this for your end users please make sure that they understand that they are now the owner of this PO, meaning they can come into this PO, they can receive it, they can request changes, they can request cancellations, they are the owner of this purchase order. Now, when they go to receive it or request changes or anything like that, they have to do it from their activity because it will not give them those pop-up options under the orders tab. So um, if I was Brittany, I could go to orders, I could find this PO, but it would not give me the action buttons to receive where if I had been the original owner, it would. But if I go to my activity as an end user and I find this purchase order, that is where it's actually going to give me the actions to request changes and receive. So that is how to change ownership of a purchase order in Coupa.